retired Colonel Dr. Kiza Vesige, who was present here when Museveni's personal doctor has held onto the memories of the 1981 to 1986 Bush War. Kazingu na Uganda. And this is one of the songs that he and other Bushwa comrades sang when they captured power on the 26th of January 1986. But even as he sings this song with joy, Vesige says he is disappointed that his former boss, President Yoweri Seven, has deviated from the programs that they promised to deliver to Ugandans. Having uh, sacrificed the best, the, the, the best part of my life, uh, trying to cause the change we did in 1986. I would have wanted to be proud to say, you know, we have achieved all these kinds of things. But unfortunately, you know, 27 years on, this is what, this is the reality. The NRA, I understand, as part of their 10-point program, which isn't a program, by the way, the 10 points are hollow slogans. Vesige and UPC President Olara Otunu criticized the ruling NRM government, saying it has neglected to work on the programs that benefit the common man. He was saying, how can you drive a, a presidential jet? You ride in a presidential jet to the UN and back when your population has no shoes and is suffering from jiggers. That was 27 years ago. Today. People are not only suffering from jiggers, they are dying from jiggers under his rule of 27 years. After 27 years in power, the achievements of any government ought to simply shout in your face in every direction. Nobody should be begging me to scrape the bottom of the barrel to say, but don't you see something? Isn't there something they've achieved in 27 years? The two politicians are demanding that the ruling NRM party accounts for the money accrued from state enterprises. Uh, core industries that we had, you know, uh, were sold off and so on. Everything was sold. But up to date, 30 years on, there is no account of what happened to that money. With the media awash with corruption stories, they think the NRM 27-year rule has been a road deal. You know, if you see the way the massive theft of resources has been taking place, choreographed, coordinated, Minister of Finance, Bank of Uganda, Prime Minister's office, and I don't know where. Picking from his offices on Katonga Road, Vesige, a three-time presidential challenger to Museven, says he feels ashamed to have been part of the group that went to the bush to liberate Ugandans. What he said he stood for, I supported. And what he stood for is correct, is right, even up to now. The problem is that he says he stands for this, but does completely a different thing. They, however, credit President Yoweri Museveni for improving the country's security and his efforts towards the East African integration. I'm not saying it's satisfactory security. It's not satisfactory. But improved from what was there before 86. In some parts of the country, there has been improvement. And indeed, some people have been saying, Wakiri, at least we can sleep. I saw the road from Kabale to Kisoro. It was in planning well before the NRM came to power. It took them forever, but they have now built it. The road from Karoma to Arua, again, it was all planned. The road from Soroti to Lera, all those were already in planning. That is their view, but the NRM is raising its flag high. 27 years down the road, President M7 is proud that the economy is stable, improved infrastructure, and a professional army, among others. Agnes Nandutu, NTV Tonight.